Yeah, this one is a ceiling panel. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And so we moved it to the ceiling to achieve radiant cooling. So then you're using one surface for heating and cooling. Um, and Instead of using like full stair? Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, you need to cover about 70% of your ceiling to meet loads, um, your like heating and cooling requirement. So here you can see the ceiling and cooling, ceiling and heating. Um, the cold point is about 59 degrees. So it will typically supply about 55 to 60 degree water, and that'll make a chilled surface. That is not really radiate, radiating cooling. We call it radiant cooling, but it's actually absorbing your body heat. So you're the radiant surface now, oh, okay. radiating thermal energy to the ceiling. The ceiling takes your energy, it gets slightly warmer, but we keep pumping cold water through the ceiling to keep providing cooling. So it's really just pulling the heat out of the room. Pulling the heat out of the room, kind of like the old exhaust fan. Yes, the yes, but this, this yeah. is doing it via radiation and not air, right? Not air, so yeah. yeah. And the big fear, you know, with like cold surfaces is you'll have condensation forming, right? right. So that's why no one does radiant cooling is because they haven't had a way to avoid the condensation. Yeah. And so we developed the sensor to monitor the dew point in every zone of the home. Mm -hmm. So we know the point at which condensation would form, the temperature at which condensation would form. So we keep the radiant surface just above that temperature at all times. So we're really like riding that dew point, making sure we stay just above it at all times. Yeah. We provide cooling without condensation. Yeah. We can manage radiant floor cooling, but we'll keep you further away from the dew point. We're less uh, aggressive. And so with the ceiling, you know, I say we keep it above the dew point temperature and we keep the surface above the dew point temperature, but our controls actually knows the like temperature gradient from the surface of the panel to the drywall and the outside of the drywall. So we'll supply water, like say the dew point's 55, we'll supply 53 um, and it's colder than the dew point, but we know the drywall is really not getting to that temperature. So we really push the cooling on the ceiling, uh, but on the floor it's a bit harder. Yeah. yeah.